Hey, what's up everybody? Jay Sting right here again for another Wicked Wednesday review here on the House of Horror. Today I'm reviewing a film from 2011. This just came out on DVD um, a week ago here in the U.S., uh, a week from this past Tuesday. This is Grave Encounters from 2011. And um, I picked this up on uh, Netflix, checked it out, and I've been wanting to review it on the channel for a little while. Um, it's a it's another found footage style horror film that seems to be really popular these days. And this one seems like it was trying to capitalize on the popularity of paranormal activity and other films like that, which there's a lot of copycats coming out now. And uh, this is one of them. It is directed by a group of guys, a couple of guys called the Vicious Brothers. And that's another trendy thing, you know. Uh, you got the Butcher Brothers. Uh, there's a few other groups of, you know, directors calling them, call themselves brothers or whatever, but they're not related. I forget their names right off, but um, yeah, Called the Vicious Brothers is the first film. And it stars uh, Sean Rogerson, uh, Juan Reidinger, uh, Ashley Grizoko, and Mackenzie Gray are the main actors in the movie. Um... Yeah, it's basically a, it's a, it's a parody of, a, you know, these really popular uh, ghost shows on TV. You know, you got the uh, Ghost Hunters and you got Paranormal Files or whatever they're called. I don't really watch those shows, but this is supposed to be like one of those. And they're, um, start the film, they're shooting all the background stuff. Then they eventually, for some reason, lock themselves inside of this. Uh, they're doing a, you know, a segment on the this mental institution it's been shut down for a lot of years and apparently has a lot of ghost activity and stuff so um, as you can imagine the shit is the fan and there's ghosts everywhere and stuff but um, I saw this trailer probably a year ago maybe you know nine nine ten months ago something like that and uh, I've been kind of wanting to see it I kind of knew a little bit what to expect and uh, it wasn't quite up to my expectations it First of all, it's it's only about an hour and 20 minutes long, and it takes a good 30 minutes to get into the actual horror part of the film. It's it's really just a bunch of useless stuff in the beginning. That they, they really could have made this film an hour long, easy. Probably would have been better, too. But I was pretty much bored before it even got started, but... Um, it gets started. All the, all the scares are expected. There's none of them that are really that, uh, you know, scary or whatever. But there's a lot of CGI in there, which really turned me off immediately. It, uh, a lot of bad CGI. And, you know, this is a lower-budget film, but, man, there's some, there's some pretty bad stuff in there. Like, it would have been better if they didn't do any of that. If they just tried to go old school with it, uh, I think it would have been a much better approach. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. I wouldn't recommend this one. I'd probably give it around a 4 out of a 10. Uh, 4 out of 10 rating. And it, uh... I don't know, I was kind of disappointed. I was kind of expecting something a little better. And uh been a little bit of hype around this one lately for, for, for some reason. But um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't even recommend to watch it. It's when the when the you know, the ghost or whatever come up on you, their their faces like they look normal at first and their faces all distort and it's all it's all CG and it just it doesn't look good and it's not it's not creepy, it's not scary. So but if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.